Hello dear viewers, welcome back to another episode featuring valuable US coins presented to you by CoinUs. Today's subject is Roosevelt Times impressed in 1992. This circulated 10 cent from Philadelphia displays sharply detailed device elements and nice reflectivity. The wear on high point of the bust is slightest. Coin is almost void of mentionable contact marks, just few ticks on different areas. On Roosevelt's left profile, which are likely bag marks that appeared after contact with other dimes inside Philadelphia Mint. Fields around the bust are free from marks, main distraction is the seaweed hue between Liberty and the western rims. Reverse side displays mint reflectivity on central areas, but light cloudiness around surrounding letterings catch the eye. Looks like a brilliant uncirculated coin from this side. Upper bands of torch separate, but on lower band we see just, just super seen line, which is only visible from certain angle under close inspection, therefore it won't attain full bands designation. Metal composition of this coin is 75% copper, 25% nickel over a pure copper center. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the meat made a very large amount of dimes in 1992, therefore 1992 P. Roosevelt dime is fairly easy to obtain. Only in MS68 condition or higher, it's harder to find. With full band designation, it's much easier, as they are scarce in any condition. Few examples have been graded overall with full band's characteristics. Any example with full band should definitely be sent for grading, as it commands a significant premium in almost all grades with full band's details. Full band's variants at mid state 67 are worth over $225, while at mid state 68 designation, they can make you even nearly $1500 at auctions. This is the most expensive 1992P with full band designation so far, grade at mid state 68 full bands. PCGS population is only 3 with none being finer. This enchanting dime with satiny luster was sold for $1440 in 2020 at heritage auctions.